<laughs> Yo. Hey guys. I told myself that I was going to switch up my intro because I just don't like the way it goes. It's the same thing for every single video. So I have practiced many different intros and none of them seemed very genuine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the video. I am super excited to be doing this video. I'm always excited to try new things. That's why I say this all the time. But no, seriously, I'm really excited to do this video because when I went to my local Walmart, Surprisingly, they had the new Wet n Wild stuff. I was so surprised when I saw these because Canada tends to get stuff a lot later than America. So when I saw these, I knew I had to pick it up and try it for you guys. So I picked up their Photo Focus. Oh, this is from their Photo Focus line. And I picked up the foundation in the shade Golden Beige. And I kind of swatched it a little bit on my chin. So hopefully this matches me. They didn't have a tester there, so it was kind of hard to figure it out. They didn't have a good color selection to begin with, and then there wasn't that much available colors in my local Walmart anyway. There were probably just three available. So with that, I also got the pressed powder, and I got it in the shade Warm Light. And this is a lot lighter than me, but I was going to go and use it for the areas that I highlight. And the reason why I bought it in light was because they only had like really light shades. So kind of like the foundation, there wasn't a good selection in color and availability in my local Walmart. So it might depend on where you're located at, but that's how it was for my location. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the foundation. What I love about Wet n Wild is how cheap and affordable their products are. This one retailed for only $7 and a few cents and that they're also cruelty free. Like, you don't need to hurt animals to make products, you know? And okay, so the applicator is like this plastic spatula. So I'm just gonna take some in the back of my hand. And as for the consistency, I would say it's a little bit in between thick and runny. I mean, it's not running very quickly, but it's not staying put as well. So we'll see how the coverage is for this. So today I'm going to be applying this side using one of my oval brushes from Strass Cosmetics. I did a video on this, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but you should check it out. I love this product, I've been using it a lot ever since that video, so I know that this is one of my tried and true. So I'm going to use this for my right side, and then the other side I'm going to use my regular foundation applicator. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm just going to use my fingers to spread it all over my face, just so it doesn't seep into the brush. Okay, feeling it with my hands, it's actually really light and very liquidy. Like, it kind of feels moussey because of how light it is. So let's see how this blends out. So it looks like it could be my color, but maybe it's one shade too light. Story of my life, that's typically how foundations go for me. So this is it with one layer. And so far I'm liking it. It was very easy to blend and it's not heavy on the face at all. It's a bit sticky so I think it's still setting so I'm going to let that sit for a bit. It's definitely a few shades lighter than my skin tone but that's totally fine because I think it matches my neck because my neck tends to be a lot lighter than my face. As for the finish, it looks pretty good. It's not cakey, it's not dusty, it's not powdery. It's just like how I would compare it to... Um, my Born This, no, not Born This Way, with the Fit Me Foundation. Okay, so I'm going to add one more layer on top of that and see how well it builds up. Alright, so this is what it looks like after two coats. And I would say this is more for light to medium coverage. You can still see some of the redness and discoloration in my cheek peeping through. And some of my blemishes on my chin as well is peeping through. Try to ignore my nose. I was sick a few days ago. I still am recovering from it. And my nose area is just super, super, super dry. No matter how many times I scrub it, it's just because I keep sneezing and I keep blowing my nose. So that dry patch is because of my skin. But other than that, I like it so far. It's very lightweight. Again, it's still feeling a little bit sticky. It is transferring on my fingers. So I think it does take a little bit of a time to set. So while that's setting, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my face. Mm -hmm. 
else. So this is what it looks like after two layers all over my face. Now I'm just going to take a damp sponge. This one is from Forever 21. And I'm just going to see if this makes a difference. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the foundation. First thing that I noticed is looking at the bottle and then looking at my hand, it looked like it was the perfect match for me and it looked pretty dark. But once I applied it on my face and blended it out, it was a lot lighter than the actual bottle. Which is fine because that's typically how it is, I know, but it was just weird because on my hand it actually looked like it was my color. Clearly it's a little bit light for me. As for the finish, it does give you a really really matte finish and it did catch on some of my dry patches so if you do have any dry skin just make sure that you exfoliate or moisturize very well before you apply this one on your face because it will really cling to that. As you can see it's clung onto the cheek area, obviously my nose because that's been really dry lately and some of my blemishes and redness around my face is still exposed. Although it did do a good job of evening out my skin tone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna apply on some concealer and some contour and I'll be right back. So I just finished cream contouring and cream highlighting my entire face. Now I'm gonna take the powder and set the areas that I highlighted. Wow, that's really pigmented. But I don't know, I feel like sometimes I don't know, they have a smell to them, but this one's not bad. Okay, so I'm just going to take a brush. Wow, there's so much fallout. Okay, and I'm just going to set my forehead and my under eye area. Oh, I forgot to even tell you guys before. Okay, so after I cream contoured my face, when I was feeling my face, it actually already set. So it did take just a few minutes to set. And it doesn't feel heavy or thick at all. I think the powder actually looked so good on my skin. It kind of blurred out some of the things on my face. And as for the color, I think it was good. It was very light. And I ended up blending my foundation down my neck. I hope you guys can appreciate that because y'all know how much I hate the feeling of foundation on my neck. I feel like the color was just so different that I had to blend it down my neck. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then we'll wrap it up. So my overall thought on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is I would give it a thumbs up. It was very, very affordable. It was only $7 and a few change, which is a lot cheaper compared to any other drugstore brand. This bottle has got 30 ml, which is a typical amount, and I like it. Do keep in mind that I'm the kind of person where I like to try things a few times and then I'll give my full opinion on it. But as a first try, as a first impression, I really like it. It set after a few minutes. It finished nicely. It did not oxidize at all. Looking at my face, it looks just as white as it did when we started. Oh my god, I got lipstick on my teeth. I like the finish of the makeup. I should have sprayed my face. I don't know why I forgot to spray my face. Oh my gosh. But anyway, after using this product, I would definitely obviously use a spray if you want to have a little bit more of a healthy dewy finish because it is a photo focus product. It is going to not have any of that shine feedback obviously when you take your picture. As for the powder, I like it. This one reminds me of my Stay Matte powder and I actually really like it. It did not oxidize. It's exactly what the color is in the packaging. I'm literally looking at myself in the mirror like I'm not trying to side eye nobody. But looking at it, it looks really good. I applied it again in the areas that I highlighted and you can see that it's literally highlighted in the area and I like it a lot. As I'm talking actually, I'm kind of seeing that the color is starting to look like it matches me. I think it got a little bit darker because I didn't put any other powder on my face except for this one which is a lighter one so this one wouldn't have made the foundation darker but it looks like it's blending a lot better on my skin so maybe that's what it is. Well it just says goodbye photo flashback. It helps eliminate white particle reflection. That's all it tells you that it does. As for the flash photography, I use my phone's camera and then I had the flash on and it didn't give me a white cast. I would definitely use this if I were ever getting my picture taken. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I have to say for these two products. If you do want to buy them or check them out, I'll have them linked down below for you guys and I'll have my shades and everything listed down below as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bounce.